Prince Nassim Hamed was an explosive entertainer. Throughout his career, fight fans on both sides of the pond tuned in, hoping for either an exciting lights out knockout or to see this braggadocious champion knocked off his perch. That's why I'm never ever gonna get beat, Gary. I'm never gonna get beat. Full stop. I, I refuse to lose. Allah will never make me lose. I will never lose. Full stop. A Hamed ring entrance was an event all in itself. Dancing through the crowds, pyrotechnics, a magic carpet. The prince even capped his wins with a somersault or two for good measure. Knocked down in both rounds so far. Heavy right, touch. Johanna left, and I don't think he'll get up from that. It's called off. The fight is over. In his prime, Hamed was a superstar. Despite his slim frame, the Sheffield switch hitter could punch like a mule. His moves were unorthodox, his reflexes sublime. He went down, got up, and knocked opponents out with single shots. Can find another big punch like that! A right uppercut! Prince Nassim Hamed adds the IBF featherweight championship of the world. After almost 20 years since his last professional bout, we recap the rise and fall of boxing legend Prince Nassim. Hamed's debut may have taken place in a low-key spot on a low-key card, but he was still delivering the knockout finishes, even back in 1992 as a fledgling super flyweight. Making his professional debut, Prince Nazim Hamed! Rangy Rick Beard tried to throw return fire, but was caught in a haze of shots from the Prince's whirlwind attacks. Right hand knockout. down. That was a touchdown. A right hand to the body finally sent the London journeyman down and out in the second round. And Hamed's own journey had officially begun. Good shot. Body shot. And that's all over. <laughs> well, a delighted young man doing his flips for all to see. <laughs> I saw reserve judgment on this young man but he is not a bad little kid i tell you boxing the first unbeaten fighter of his career was no problem for hamed who laid waste to newport's alan lay in his latest one-sided blitz the scotsman commonwealth champion at bantam johnny armor oh lovely right there from hamed straight through the middle down goes lay the rakish kid from Sheffield, with dynamite in his fists, was already gathering a buzz in the British boxing trade press. Oh, a beautiful straight right there from Hamed. That's uh, nothing more than a jab, but what a jab. Beautiful punch. The favorite posed and preened around the ring as Southpaw Lay was dropped repeatedly by Hamed's haunting right hand. And Lay still in. Oh, lovely right hand. Slinks down to the canvas, and I think they're telling him to stay where he is. It's all over, yes, and the blood there pouring to the nose, and a forward roll and somersault from Hamed to celebrate his victory. And that's the seventh fight on the trot, the sixth inside the distance. Making the first defense of his WBC International Super Bantamweight strap, Nassim was presented with undefeated Dominican Loreno Ramirez. Prince Nassim! Ramirez was sending out extreme signals of distress towards the end of the third, prompting Hamed to move in for the kill with a fight-ending right hook. I don't know if I took it. I get the impression there's it's possible a tooth has been loosened with that punch. Well, oh, well, that was, his jaw was loosened with that. And he, he, he just flopped over there like wet laundry falling on the floor, but he, there was something wrong with his tooth there. Now, he doesn't want it. Doesn't I thought he want. didn't. Yeah, I get the he's, now, he's, he's quit in the third round. Uh, well, he didn't expect that, or we didn't expect that. I suppose Hamid says, yes, I did expect that. Continuing his whistle-stop knockout tour of the UK, the Prince rocked up in Scotland for the second time in quick succession. Sergio Rafael Lindo was brought in to provide the opposition in Livingston. Yes, far better than his previous opponent. And that was a lovely shot. That was a bone shaker, that one. Hamed ducked and dived away from the big right hand to leave the Argentine flat on his back from a whipping left hand. Oh, what a left hook. He took no control of his feet. I mean, he really planted that with a champion's skill there. 
and he's going to stop this by the look of it, the Belgian referee, because this fellow's legs have stiffened on him. Now the referee should stop that, Reg. Yeah, he's over. That's the last thing we want. That was unnecessary, that last punch, totally unnecessary. That is the last thing we wanted to see tonight. He had nothing left, that left hook finished him off completely. I don't know why the referee ordered the box on there. Putting on a show at the showground, Hamed was keen to prove to an appreciative crowd, as well as those watching at home, that he was the great entertainer both in and out of the ring. Prince Upright Southpaw Enrique Angeles had the style to cause issues, but once Hamed found the range for his power punches, it was one-way traffic. Chance of Nassim, Nassim ringing around this arena. Oh. Terrific right hand, and then a delayed action fall for Angeles. It seemed to take a while to take effect. It was the right hand, I'm sure, that did it. Angeles is down. He's looking at his corner. Is he going to beat the count? No, he's not. He's knocked out in the second round. There's the backflip. And Prince Nassim Hamed retains the WBC International Super Bantamweight Championship. He celebrates with promoter Frank Warren. He celebrates with the cornermen, also dressed in the crazy leopard skins. In a battle of two exciting punchers, Hamed was once again too sharp for a foreign import. The Puerto Rican dropped Hamed with a right hand in the open. He's, he's not psyched out in any way. Good right, right hand. hand again. Oh, he's got him, he's got him down! Nessie is put down by a right hand. It was only a flash knockdown. His success was short-lived, however, as the enigmatic champion quickly found the range for his unconventional blows to stun Alisea in the second session. Good solid right hand there. Oh, left hook, and down goes Alisea. There's the answer. The Prince found the big shots to extinguish his WBO number one contender in round two. Knocked down in both rounds so far. Heavy right punches. Right hand left, and I don't think he'll get up from that. It's called off. The fight is over. The fight is over. There'll be no count. He's won it in round two. The ninth time he's won in round two. And that was Hamed's answer to suffering the first knockdown of his career. Following four successful defenses of his WBO belt, Hamed was ready to unify with long-reigning IBF champion Tom Johnson. Johnson! Johnson was making the 12th defense of the title he had won from Manuel Medina in 1993. It was unlucky 13 for the American, who was hurt by Hamed early on and boxed his way back into the contest before coming unstuck in the seventh and getting knocked out in the eighth. We are surely only seconds away here. If Nassim can find another big punch like that, a right uppercut. Prince Nassim Hamed adds the IBF featherweight championship of the world to his WBO belt. He is twice a world champion. And again, the finish was electric. Beaten only once before by Hamed victim Tom Johnson, Jose Badillo was designed to test the champion when they met in the Prince's hometown. Good luck to both of you. A little man up, touch him up. Back to corner. It did not transpire that way. Hamed dominated the rounds, even attempting an Ali shuffle in the fifth, right up to the seventh, when Badillo started feeling the effects of constant left hands. Do all this. For the Sheffield fans, he's playing to the audience, trying to taunt for Padillo, who's taking all this. Referee Mike Ortega combined with Padillo's corner to end the onslaught. Too happy, took another big left hand. This fellow is durable, but even he was wobbled by that. Then a right, blood coming from his nose. This could be the finish now. They want to stop it. Padillo's corner want to stop it. They've rescued him. They don't want him to take any more of this. And Prince Nassim Hamed retains the WBO featherweight championship. One of Hamed's most gloriously flawed displays came on his American debut against Kevin Kelly. May the best man win. Touch up. Let's go. Come on, guys. Touch it up. All right, let's do this. Headlining in New York's famous Madison Square Garden, the Prince treated U.S. fight fans and pundits to a literal up-and-down affair that could have gone either way. Hamed is a puzzle that Kelly is unable to solve. But down goes the Prince on Kelly's first serious landed punch. A looping right hand put Hamed down. Second time in his career he's been down in the first round. Puerto Rican Daniel Alisea was able to do it too. 
think a mistake he made. There we go. Right right there. There's the power. There's the power you were talking about. Ultimately, it went Nassim's way as his fight ending power settled the score and bailed the Englishman out in the fourth. Leaping right hand by the Prince. Ooh. And a hard left. And Kelly's down for the third time. He's got a half a minute and he He's is gone. definitely hurt. He's and the for real. fight is over. He's for real. The Prince is for real. punching power, George. It's, a, it's almost like De La Hoya. They just, you don't know where they get the power from. What we just saw was the Hagler Hearns of featherweight fighting. Tough, underrated, and phenomenally fit, Scarborough's Paul Ingle found himself competing at world level, and he was not about to let that opportunity slip by. All right, touch him up. Other opportunities would arise for Ingle, whose first world title tilt was ended in round 11 by the devastating punches of Nassim Hamed. That was after Ingle had been dropped twice by the Prince, rallied back well in the fight, only to find Hamed's power once again telling when it really mattered. He's the better boxer, so he should win this fight. And if a knockout presents itself, let it happen. Here's the third knockdown. And Joe Cortez stops it. Second 11th round knockout of Prince Nassim's career. The straight left hand shot up the middle. Too much for Paul Engel in round 11. After some suspect performances, classic Ahmed returned. In truth, South Africa's Voyani Bungu was made to order, sending a London crowd into raptures by entering the ring on a magic carpet. Nassim laid down a marker from the start, using Bungu's hunch style against him. He has to maintain his concentration. Big left hand. Bungu covering up again and looking a bit open as he staggered back against the ropes. Listen to the crowd here, it's getting very animated. The visitor was tagged repeatedly to head and body before falling in the fourth from a powerful left hand. Really plants his legs and you know, bangs them in hard. Oh, and a big left hand puts Bungu on the floor in the fourth round. It's over, and Prince Nassim Hamed answers all his critics with a blisteringly brilliant performance here and becomes the first ever man to stop Boyani Bungu in his long career. Uh, that was punch perfect. Despite having bettered Floyd Mayweather as an amateur, things had not quite gone to plan for Augie Sanchez, who already had an upset loss on the pro ledger when he met Nassim Hamed in Mashantucket. Okay, we go clean fight, touch him up, Hello, good luck. Ready to touch go. him up, good luck. By this point, Hamed was 34-0, making the 15th defense of his WBO strap and every inch a boxing star. Both men traded heavy blows in an all-out war before Hamed viciously ended the contest in the fourth round by knocking out Sanchez. The face and to the body. Naz laughing as Sanchez again slides down the front of him. Left, right, right. And once again, you see the awesome punching power of Prince Nassim Hamed. And that's going to be the end of the fight. Ring doctor into the ring. Mike Ortega there before they can start a count. Ahmed knocks out Augie Sanchez. If the Prince comes close to your hometown, you better go out and see this. This is a phenomenon. This is it. The moment many detractors had been waiting for finally arrived in early 2001, when the Prince was unable to pull that one big shot out of the bag and tasted defeat for the first time. Era boxing, not just waiting in, gets to the body, wobbles Nas with the left hook upstairs. Round one is all Barrera, as Prince Nassim takes several power shots from the Mexican star. Mexican Barrera used his orthodox boxing skills, stellar technique, and a huge amount of grit to defuse Hamed's bombs and become lineal featherweight champion. Big left hand by Barrera inside. Stuns Prince Nassim. Big left hook by Barrera. His corner told him to just box, and he's not taking that advice. He's going for it. He's been on the wrong side of at least one decision here in Las Vegas. He doesn't want it to happen again. He 
reckless Prince Nassim goes charging right past Barrera. That looked like one of his entrances flying through the sky. His moment of truth has turned into an hour of torture. Unanimous decision. Marco Antonio Barrera. If that's the way it's written for a man to go, that's the way it's written from Allah. I'm happy, I'm still confident. The fact is, he couldn't drop me, he couldn't knock me out. And I'm going out at this ring like a champion still. At the end of the day, I give him all congratulations and all the best of the, all the success in the world to him in the future. And uh, what can I say? I only have to get straight back in the gym and get back again like a champions, like champions do. Come back and fight again. It's written from Allah for that to happen. And, I'll t and I accept what is written. That's all I can say.